Hello everybody, welcome to the Santa stream. Today we're going to take a look at CS Grain, which is a brilliant way to manipulate your audio loops. You can import from iTunes file sharing or you can record via audio bus into it or you can use live input recording as well. Okay, so we're not going to focus on all of that kind of thing, but we are going to look at it inside audio bus running through uh, the soon to be released Bird Stepper. But uh, everything at the moment is turned off except for um, the ring modulator on CS Grain. And we have uh, a preset loaded. See, we have loads of presets here we can play with. And if we just play it, here's what we've got. Now you'll see that the modulation, I hope you can see that the, mod uh, the ring modulator is, is moving around. It means you, you can record your movements uh, for everything in CS Grain as well. Okay, so most of the effects are now switched off. We'll switch off the ring modulator. And you're left with the straightforward uh, loop here, what, what would, whatever was imported. Okay, so we can turn on the delay. Okay, and we have a pitch shifter. And we have reverse, which basically obviously just reverses the loop. And we have a low pass filter, a reverb. And our, uh, our, that's our output control flanger. Chorus. You get some nice effects with your guitar going through this. So, here's more or less the basic, the basic loop. We've added some pitch shifting. And I've got it going through Bird Stepper, but Bird Stepper is switched off at the moment and it's released. Bird Stepper, if you're watching this in the next few days, Bird Stepper is released very, very, very soon. Now, it's already been submitted to the App Store, so. That's it going through Bird Stepper. That's an effect called Spectre that I've got set up in there. But more or less, this is just to show it working inside audio bus so here we have uh, well it's, it's reading bird stepper now but it's going to record cs grain so and as we record we can add our effects and stuff and start to change things around so let's just stop that a sec uh, and let's have a look at another preset so um drums stutter we'll load up that and Well, grain sink here. Stop that. We pop on over to bed stepper. Uh, turn off the spectre effect, and I just want to add a little bit of filter to this. filters on cool things you can do really start to mangle the mix we'll switch bed separate off okay and what we're 
going to do is we're going to, sorry. Oh, a few things we can do with settings. You can choose the buffer size and then you can assign MIDI. And then you've got your output file formats, your oscilloscope, you can have it on or off, um, and global limiter, uh, which we've got, I think, on or off. Um, you don't need to do use the limiter. You need just you do need to be careful of the controlling the the volume of the audio going in. We have info and help, and we have another uh, we have a page where we can see that our where our audio files have gone, and we can rename it. You know, edit blah blah the usual stuff. Um, we're just gonna choose yet another preset. So guitar delay. We see what this is like. <laughs> So I'm going to record that into uh, Cubasis. Uh, we're going to get a click, but it'll stop. Cubases and just go and make sure that we've actually recorded. I think we have by the looks of it. Let's double tap there and normalize it. Otherwise, we're going to be quiet. So, um, let's go into mixer. Okay, so this is what we've just done. So, first of all, it should start normal, and then uh, you should hear a bit of a uh, bed stepper kick in and then go out again and whatever else I messed around with. So there you go, guys. There's a basic quick look at uh, CS Gray. We can see you can manipulate your loops and stuff, which bit pretty much any way you like. So you can load audio from uh, your audio files that are, you've done here or iTunes. Like I said, you can also record into this. Uh, you can have live input or via, via audio bus. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. See you later.